Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to look at what's going on in your connection, how they feel about you, what are their true intentions, and what is the next possible action or outcome for your connection. For Capricorn, spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Capricorn when it comes to love? This is going to be a general reading as always Capricorn, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. I feel so much energy right now <laughs> for Capricorns, like a very upbeat energy. I feel like there's a lot going on. What messages do you have for Capricorn when it comes to love? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Other messages do you have for Capricorn? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This could also be to release something from the past. Is I'm only saying that because that's what I'm hearing. Um, it's not. It doesn't specifically have to be a person. Interesting. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So there's some sort of um conversation that needs to take place all right let's see what messages do you have for capricorn for some reason for you um for you guys i i'm going to just cut the deck rather than pull the cards like i normally do for capricorn Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, wow. Ace of Cups, Reverse. Something very slowly unfolding. Wow, Ten of Cups, yes. This is going to be um, a big transition for you, Capricorn. And that's why I feel so much energy. I feel like when I, was, when I first started recording your video, I just felt like this surge of energy. And I immediately thought, like, there has to be something going on. There's probably a lot going on right now. Either you're moving or someone's coming to see you. Maybe there's a lot going on in a connection. Um, or perhaps this is what's coming. Because I feel with the Knight of Pentacles, something has been taking its time to either get to you or perhaps you've been working on something for a while. Six of Swords. This is a, a departure of some sort, leaving a difficult situation. This could be somebody that's coming to visit you. We'll see. Let me clarify. Let me clarify these energies. Ten of Cups. I feel like there's um, it's like a happy ending. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Let's see if I'm right about that because that the Ten of Cups could also be a card about family. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Empress, wow, yes, this is something that's going to have a lot of potential for growth, for abundance. This is a huge opportunity coming your way, Capricorn, or something that you've been working on for a while. Something about the Knight of Pentacles. Someone could be viewing you as an Empress energy and bringing you an offer that's worthy of you. Magician Reverse, I feel like it's not going, it's taking its time because there's some obstacles Maybe someone doesn't have all of the resources. Can I get one more for this Knight of Pentacles? Reverse. Not reverse. This Knight of Pentacles. Looking at the Magician Reverse. The Hermit. Wow. Virgo energy. This is like all major arcanas here. There's been like a waiting period. You've been really thinking about some something. or I feel like someone could be thinking about you. Maybe you're waiting for someone still thinking about someone um interesting it's like you're waiting for a message back or you're waiting them to show up like maybe you've been waiting for the six of swords to show up
Why is the Six of Swords here? For Capricorn, why is the Six of Swords here? Two of Swords reverse, okay. This could have been a very difficult decision to leave a situation. Why is the Six of Swords here? Page of Cups reverse, heartbreak, yeah. Something wasn't successful, something wasn't fair to you or balanced. And so you're leaving or you're just switching one thing for another, making a different choice here. This could be you or your person because this is what's going on in a connection. So it could be either of you here. I feel like you have in your head or like you 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 think about what your life or your con or a connection could be like. And maybe it hasn't worked out exactly like you thought it would. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? But you're not giving up on that dream. Judgment reverse, King of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's been a lot of heartbreak here because there's been mistakes. Possibly someone that hasn't treated you right, Capricorn, or... Um, Maybe this was a bad judgment call on your part and it led to heartbreak or disappointment. Yeah, something hasn't been fair. Justice reverse, judgment reverse, six of wands reverse. Something here has not worked out when it comes to love. Someone could be coming to you to apologize with the Knight of Cups here or express how they feel. Maybe this Knight of Pentacles is someone trying to make the effort Maybe now that you're ready to release someone or something, here comes this person trying to make the effort. Make you some sort of an offer here. The moon, Pisces energy, could be a water sign you're dealing with. I have Libra here as well. Virgo and um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, some of you are, wow. Eight of Cups. Some of you are walking away towards what you feel is a happy ending. This could be someone walking away from you, but I, I feel like this is whoever's releasing the X. Yeah, and this could be someone that's moving from home or just wanting balance, stability. Six of Swords is someone leaving towards a more balanced, stable situation. And that's what the Four of Wands is. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Someone here could be walking away from a family or a marriage. Again, this is this is like swapping or making a decision here. You're going back and forth. There's been doubts about walking away, but I feel like someone's going to do it. So how are they feeling about you or this connection? I'm going to be using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. By the time this video is out, this deck should be available in my Etsy shop for purchase. Link down below if you're interested. How are they feeling or thinking about Capricorn or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn or this connection spirit? I don't want to lose you. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that it's like, perhaps things didn't work out. This wasn't what you thought it was going to be. And when you decide to leave is when they want to make the effort and make you an offer here because they don't want to lose you. You matter to me. What's at the bottom of the deck? My heart belongs to you. Okay, so let's see what else we can get about how they're thinking or feeling about you. 
What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn for this connection? Yeah, this is someone that's willing to put in the work and the effort now. But I feel like a lot of you are ready for something new. How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn spirit? How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? Six of Pentacles, yep. Rebalancing the situation, restoring balance here. Wow, tower. They could be causing a tower here. Or perhaps this is going to be surprising to you. Shocking. How are they thinking or feeling? Maybe you walking away or uh, you releasing them was a shock to them. Nine of Pentacles reverse. They're not, yeah, they don't want to lose you. They, they, they're like attached to you in some way here. Because they love you with the King of Cups. Now that doesn't mean that you have to take them back. But this is what they're thinking or feeling. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Ace of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Page of Cups reverse. They know they screwed up here. Um, I have a feeling that they know they're heartbroken, but I also feel like they broke your heart or disappointed you. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Five of Cups, yep. See, they have regret over the past. They think about the past and they have regrets. There's disappointment here. Why is the tower here? The star, Aquarius energy, healing, hope, faith. There's a tower here. They could be wanting to heal this tower. Yeah. Yep. They just want to come in with an offer, an apology to heal this connection. To heal whatever happened. Maybe they don't, they're trying to avoid this tower from completely collapsing. Um, they know you're upset. Yeah, and they're bringing a big offer. They felt, they know that they probably breadcrumbed you or weren't fair to you in some way. They know that this has to do with them and the way they handled the situation. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reverse? Knight of Wands. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like they, they definitely, yeah, they're not letting go. Instead, they're thinking about how they can get to you, how, you know, what, what action they need to take in order to, again, make this work. You know, they're trying all kinds of different things here, I feel. They're very motivated. Seven of Cups at the bottom. Literally, which cup? Which cup? How many cups should I offer? Should I offer this one? Or this one? Or this one? You know? Like, they, they're trying to figure it out. So what are their true intentions towards you, Capricorn? What are their, oops, what are their true intentions towards Capricorn spirit? What are their true intentions? Towards Capricorn. What are their true intentions? Towards Capricorn. Beaver, yeah. So this person is willing to work. The beaver is definitely a hard worker, a provider, family person, family oriented. What are their true intentions? I do see them really making an effort here. Yeah. 
they love you. It's it's a um, this queen uh, this deer is like the queen of cups. They love you. I feel like their intention is to do the right thing. However, there is the fire ant at the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of drama, aggression, conflict. I feel like there's been a lot that's gone on in this connection. To the point that now someone is almost like, maybe it's best to just leave things as they are. So what's next for this connection spirit? What's next? So if this is resonating for you, Capricorn, leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating because I love hearing from you. But if you'd like to join the extended, the link is right below this video in the description box. Wow. Three of swords, six of wands, death, Scorpio energy. I really do feel like for a lot of you Capricorns out there, you're ready for a transformation, a change with the death card. This person, all they see is you, all eyes on you. Uh, but I feel like you are focused on something else. Perhaps there's just, it's been, um, it's too little too late. Or it's just been too much of a, a mess here. For you to really um, give this another shot or hear this person out or accept their offer. I feel like a lot of you are not going to be open to this offer. Have the Queen of Wands reverse. It's usually someone that's not very happy. <laughs> um, so I feel like this is going to be up to you, really. I'm going to have to clarify the Death card and the Six of Wands to really see what that's about. But I feel like you're ready for a change and this person... They want success, they want to recognize you, they want to give you all of the appreciation that they probably should have given you in the past. And I feel like now that it's up to you, I feel like you think about everything that happened and you're just ready for something new. But I'm also seeing here the potential of success in this connection. Um, despite the ending despite the pain i feel like there's potential here um i feel like that's just for a small number of you thank you so much for your likes shares and subscribes please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoy the readings thank you so much to everyone who already does that i really appreciate it don't forget to leave me a comment down below if this resonated for you i love to hear from you guys and how the readings resonate if it didn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Capricorn or check out the other placements in your chart if they are more prominent. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will hopefully see you with another video very soon. Take care.